So again, right? Mm -hmm. Here's another problem, right? And see, what I'm doing is trying to explain to you for every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction, right? If you get me in a finger hold and my feet are free, I can stomp your feet still, right? Right, right. So this is a rare... Right. Right. Now, what I'm trying to do is get you to not rely on one way to defend yourself, but realize there's more than one way, right? And this is called thinking outside the box, right? Now, the thing is, he's teaching a system where Tori is always the victor and Uke is always defeated, right? That's not real self-defense, right? That's not realistic. Sometimes you got to resort to other ways to get out the hold, right? Even if you're the one in the hold. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay, here he's side by side, right? How hard is it to stomp his foot, if you're not wearing shoes or not, <laughs> on to his foot? Not at all. Not I hard at all. In all fact, watch what he does. To right. See, he tries to walk with him, right? Well, if I can lift my foot, yeah, can stomp your foot, right? See, see. And that's a way to defend yourself against the hold, even the full Nelson is stomp the foot, right? I know. <laughs> then you try to get behind them and throw them backwards, right? See, that'll work in a self-defense situation, too, right? I put pressure right here, top right here, get under, Now, mm -hmm. see the, he's to his right, right? Because he's attacking with the right again, right? Now, all it takes me is, yes, I'm in pain, right? But, right, if I can lift my feet, right, to move, right, I can also stomp your feet, which will cause you pain, right? And then you're going to be forced to release the hold yourself, right? Because I can also keep stomping until you do, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Now, so there he's good, but he tries going under, right, and getting the side, right. From there, I can stomp your foot, right. Now, the thing about a true martial artist is they're always looking for a way to get out of any hold, right. <laughs> well, there's a way to get out that hold, and that's to stomp the foot of the person putting you in the hold, right. You know, right? Quite simply, right? And, you know, he, he's not showing you if you could resist because you can't resist. <laughs> That's the whole problem there, right? If someone can't resist you, well, you can put them in whatever hold you want, right? But that's not real self-defense. That's not a real-life situation. Now, Again, I'm not saying 
you know, your Joe Blow on the street would just come up with that, right? <laughs> of course, I took karate for four years from 13 to 17, too, right? So, of course, I feared something I might can develop, right? I was almost a black belt. Mm -hmm. Technically, I am the second degree black belt now, and I'm keeping that rank for a reason, right? In time, I'll become a third degree black belt, but not right now, right? Not in a hurry to, right? <laughs>